bathymetric charting goes back hundreds of years. The last 100, 150 years have seen a massive increase in technology input and change in methodology. You go back to 1880s, it was still the traditional lead line, a weight normally lead, and a line, and they threw that over the side of the ship and measured how deep it was. From there you went to a Kelvin sounding machine, which again was just like a lead, but it was a wire and it was a, it was a mechanical thing rather than a poor seaman having to throw a weight and recover it over the side. Gradually into the first echo sounders in the early 1920s, then you gradually moved into more high precision forms of echo sounders into digital systems which we have today. There's still vast swaths of the seabed that haven't been covered by soundings. We have information of them mainly from modern satellite altimetry which is gravity affecting the sea, floor, sea surface so you get an inferred bathymetry but then there's all these areas we, we know there might be something of interest there we yet have yet to go back and survey them.